Hi, I'm Dr. Priyanka Reddy and welcome back to DNA Skin Clinic and Wellness Center. In today's video, I'll be talking on the effects of sun rays on skin. Sun rays reach the earth in different forms with varying wavelengths. Now we can broadly classify this into infrared radiation, visible light and ultraviolet radiation. So the infrared radiation has a wavelength of about 780 to 1000 nanometers and the warmth or the heat we feel from the sun is because of this radiation. The next category of light is the visible light. So this has a wavelength of about 400 nanometers to 780 nanometers and we are able to see because of visible light. Now the once the visible light hits the skin, it just gets reflected off. It, does, it doesn't cause essentially any effect on the skin. It only gives us the power to see. And then comes the next set of sun rays called the ultraviolet radiation. Now ultraviolet radiation causes harm to the skin when overexposed. Now ultraviolet radiation can also again be classified into ultraviolet C, ultraviolet B and ultraviolet A. Now C usually doesn't reach the earth because it's cut off with the ozone layer. What causes effects on skin are the UVB and UVA. So first let's talk about UVB or the ultraviolet B radiation which is more harmful than UVA. Now UVB causes burns on the skin. UVB can penetrate only up to the superficial layers of the skin while UVA can penetrate much more deeper to the dermal level also but UVB is the radiation that can cause burns on your skin. When the UVB radiation touches your skin it has the capacity to penetrate into the skin to the superficial layers and it interacts with the DNA of the skin. It causes DNA changes basically which will cause the effects of inflammation or the burns and when there is a lot of damage with UVB and then genetic mutations happen that's when it can lead to cancers. While the UVA rays have the capacity to penetrate much deeper that is to the dermal level and dermis holds collagen and elastin fibers that are responsible for the youthful appearance of the skin. They are responsible for the elasticity that is the rebounding capacity once the skin is stretched. So because UVA can reach to this level it causes degradation of the collagen fibers which will cause the signs of aging. So UVA essentially is responsible for the signs of early aging when exposed to uh, sun without any sort of protection for long hours. While UVB is responsible for burns and cause of cancers because of genetic mutation if you have exposure to sun for long many hours and you have tendency to, for cancers. So the ultraviolet radiation also causes tanning because the body's response or the skin's response to protect itself is by releasing this melanin. So now you have melanocytes inside the skin that release a pigment called melanin that is responsible for the color of your skin. Now when the ultraviolet radiation hits your skin, the body's response to protect itself is by releasing melanin in order to protect itself from the harmful radiation. So if you see a person who is tanned, that means their skin has already been damaged because of ultraviolet radiation and it has produced melanin in order to protect itself. So it's always advisable for people who are already tanned not to cause further damage and to be careful and to apply sunscreen or the other protective measures in order to safeguard your skin from sun. Until the recent past there has been a lot of emphasis only on ultraviolet radiation that is the UVA and UVB and the harmful effects of the ultraviolet radiation on skin and we have not done much research on infrared radiation. But with the latest research infrared radiation that gives the heat and warmth of the sun to us can also cause damaging effects. Now, because ultra infrared radiation can penetrate much more deeper than the UVA. So when you look at the order of penetration, it's ultraviolet B followed by ultraviolet A followed by infrared. So it can go to a very deep level. So this also can cause signs of aging. This also can cause sun sensitive skin issues. So often doctors are advising and prescribing sunscreen usage uh, even while you're indoors. Now this is because of multiple reasons. One, because ultraviolet radiation can still penetrate your glass panes, window shields and uh, you're still going in and out uh, um, when you're even at home and also the heat from the cooking can also induce uh, the signs of aging or can cause tanning and pigmentation which is why we advise you to use sunscreen but more than that the most important reason why we are asking you to use sunscreen even while indoors is that your gadgets now a lot of us are mostly on gadgets and those also emit infrared radiation so to protect yourself from all these radiations we advise you to use sunscreen even while you're indoors. So to summarize, sun rays are good, sun rays help in synthesis of vitamin D to our body. As doctors, we also advise ultraviolet therapy in certain conditions of skin uh, for better healing. 
but in moderation so excessive exposure to sun rays especially during the peak hours can cause more harm than good so moderation is important you can get exposed to sun rays for vitamin D synthesis for a stipulated amount of time in a stipulated way I have also done a video on effect of sun rays in the synthesis of vitamin D you can please check that video out to, to know how you should get exposed to sun for vitamin D synthesis but other than that long hours of exposure uh, is not ad advisable especially if you are concerned about um, graceful aging if you're concerned about cancers if you're concerned about burns tan these are the concerns uh, you are having so you should be using certain uh, protective techniques so one could be the sunscreen the other could be the protective gear now you, there's also a video on uh, sunscreens that I've made you can check out that video to know what sunscreen suits you the best and the other protective measures being wearing wide brimmed hat putting on nice sunglasses or goggles and wearing full protected clothing when you step out is very very important now sun rays not only affect your skin they can also affect your eyes so putting on those nice big shades is very very important when you step out this can also help in protecting your under eyes very very sensitive area especially in our indians we always have this issue of hollowing of the under eye or dark circles so this could also be to a certain extent prevented by appropriately covering your uh, uh, skin with the appropriate gear so wide brim hats goggles or sunshades full clothing especially if you are driving a lot uh, wearing those protective gloves wearing fully covered shoes or socks will help you from the harmful effects of sun so using of appropriate sunscreens taking appropriate uh, protective gear when you step out and also taking good care after you come back is very important so these are the three essential components for you to safeguard your skin from harmful effects of sun rays now the last point is taking care once you come back is once you know that you've gotten exposed to sun and there's a little bit of redness um, or irritation or sensitivity to your skin you can do some home remedies like applying aloe vera gel um, using honey and uh, paste of aloe vera so that, that that area can be cooled down and there won't be progression of inflammation and if it is very severe you will have to consult your dermatologist probably you'll be advised to use calming and soothing skin agents you'll be probably giving anti-inflammatory agents depending on the severity of your condition do not neglect photosensitivity do not neglect skin burns that can have serious repercussions later on in the life so consult your dermatologist as and when you need it i hope this video was useful and informative uh, to know more about the sunscreens there's a video that i've made and put up on my youtube channel so you can check that out um, and you can also check out the video on relation between sun rays and vitamin d what is the right way of getting exposed exposed to sun for vitamin D synthesis is also up there so please do check it out if you have any more queries you can reach to us on info at dnsskinclinic.in until then you guys stay healthy and stay happy